everyone, I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. The race is on for playoff spots, and then look now on how things are shaping up in the NFC. These teams battling for the best possible seeds as we head toward Wild Card Weekend. Should be an exciting finish to the regular season. It's the Panthers going up against the Redskins. Set for the call of this Week 15 matchup, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Larry, we are due east from our nation's capital at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Tonight, we put a bow on Week 15 with a good Monday night matchup between the Carolina Panthers and the Washington Redskins. Set eye. They'll run. This is Jonathan Stewart. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. And that's how you get started and open up a game. Really well blocked play. Picked up a nice chunk of yardage. And if you're the offensive line, that's exactly what you've talked about all week long in your meetings. Establish the line of scrimmage and take control. And they gave their running back plenty of room to rumble. And the offense lining up first and ten. Newton on first down. Over the middle here to Brown. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run. Big time pass. A one-two combination. Looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. and driven backwards. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And what about this offense, Charles? Specifically, what about Jonathan Stewart? He makes sure everything goes. Put the ball in his chest and watch him run. Can run with power inside, but has enough speed that when he gets outside, he can cause a lot of trouble. There's Newton now on second down. A dump off here to Stewart. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and that'll lead here to a third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. his way forward here for a modest gain. So a little grabbing there, but this time it goes against the offense for holding. Here's Newton. The catch made over the middle by Ginn. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And on this first drive, looks like they want to get that vertical passing game going early. And they did. And what a warning shot they just fired. If you're not going to back up and play coverage deep, we're going to attack you all game long. And once you adjust to that, you start to back off, and that opens things up underneath. A really nice start for them. Great way to get the game going. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Now, whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. 
They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. to his running back and stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three and they're getting him involved early you feel like they saw something on tape or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved just as you said they want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game but they must like the matchups they're getting Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. First and goal. Defense with their backs against the wall. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. Nothing on that one. It'll be second down. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? They'll need to get the playoff quickly. Play clock down to two, and we get a signal and a timeout. And that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter. They're down to one remaining. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. Second and goal to go now. Now the former Oregon man. This is Kenyon Barner. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go -go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here, not even a thought, yeah, is it? defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. Now Newton on third and goal. That's caught at the two. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. And how about this first drive? They're being aggressive, slinging it around. Really confident, too, because they're not trying to fool them with running plays, throwing it, and they're being very successful right now. And Gano's kick is right through. And the Panthers stay claim to a 3-0 lead. And that field goal caps an 11-play drive. It's a lot of offense to run to only get three points, but they'll take them. Anytime you can put anything on the board, you run to your sideline somewhat happy. first play but no more than that no gain on the play it'll be second down first offensive series forthcoming Deshaun Jackson wide receiver that certainly needs no introduction in this league he's truly one of those don't blink guys because as soon as you do he's past you and in the end zone and doesn't mind letting you know about it too play fake Cousins He's got the hook up here to Deshaun Jackson. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Okay, what can't Deshaun Jackson do? All right, we know about the catches. We just saw another one there. Also gets involved in the return game, and he can break big plays like that. We've seen him do it throughout his NFL career. We have. What are you, are you thinking of anything in particular? Yeah, I'm, still, I'm still remembering a certain Giants punter <laughs> not following orders, and Deshaun Jackson made that big-time return all the way back 
for a game winner in that one. I still remember seeing the looks of disbelief on the Giants' sideline. Back live, Charles Davis to my right. I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Redskin football to begin quarter number two. They face a second and seven to start things out. Second down throw for Cousins. Complete to the right. This is Garcon. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. Watch him now, Barney. Barney. A first down throw for Cousins. Caught left side, Garcon. 12 yards there as they move the chains. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? You see it now. The confidence is starting to rise. I think now as a play caller, because that has happened, you lean on it a little bit more. You don't go totally away from running the football. But you do say, guess what? We can throw it, we can throw it well with a whole lot of confidence. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Now a play fake here on first down. Caught on the right side, Reed. A gain of six there on first. Second down now after the pass completion. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. To the air again, it's Cousins. And he finds the tight end, Reed. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. There's a completion to the tight end, and I think they were looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. Speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? Here we go now. They run with it. It's Kelly. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. You don't have to be a finished product to show some pretty good glimpses of what could be in this league, and we just saw an example of it on that nice run there. When I looked at him coming out of college, I saw a guy with raw, terrific ability. I couldn't wait to see how it was going to be harnessed and polished up in the NFL. In fact, some people thought he could play a little slot receiver as well as run the football. It's got and he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. A great effort there with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Redskins have taken the lead. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. Here's the Redskins now as their kick unit will send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Carolina getting...
set to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They'll start the drive with a run by Stewart. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But a guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Second down following the run. A play fake to Stewart. It's Newton. He's going to air one out. And this is caught at the 20. And he'll be marked down deep in Washington territory. They practiced this all week. Pretty clear it paid off there. Threw it downfield, made it look relatively easy. And it always comes a little bit easier when you've practiced it and tuned things up and you're confident in what you're doing now. They felt very, very good about their plan, and we saw the execution because the confidence of the players was there. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Sometimes play calls boil down to philosophy. You know you're facing one of the top 10 units against the run in the NFL. So do you decide to keep smashing against them, or do you decide to throw the ball here? Second down is Newton. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And here come the Redskins now. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Some runs are blocked so well. You almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. Josh Dotson's got it complete. And he gets this one all the way up to the 40-yard line. Two minutes to play here in the first half. Back to FedEx Field following this short break. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Over, 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 over. Now let's go. They go play action here on first down. Finding time. Being chased out left. And he's got his target. It's Vernon Davis. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It's a pickup of 33 yards. And that leads to a Washington first down. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. Here we go now. A first down throw for Cousins. And Davis with it left side. That throw good for four. It's second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. And they're six yards away from picking up the first here on second down. Hey, four down, four down. Hurry up, hurry up. They go play action. Cousins. That is caught right at the 10 yard line. And now look at this big game, but a fumble. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. 
And defensively, maybe an opportunity miss there. No doubt about it. When that ball's out, all you're thinking about as a defender is this is our chance to make a huge play. Instead, he's able to recover his own fumble. And Big usually, sigh of relief. Huh? Yeah, usually those wide receiver fumbles, there's open space around for the defense, but not there. He hops right back on it. Kelly to try to punch it in. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Redskins. A great play there. His second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Redskins are going to add on to their lead. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he will be brought down here at about the 17-yard line. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. Looking for Ginn, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. Out comes the Redskin offense now as they get set to begin another possession. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nice run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass <laughs> rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. Yeah, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. Second down now after the incompletion. Play fake. Cousins surveying the field. Look at the time. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. On third down, Cousins completes it right side to Dodson. And they get 14 yards there at a first down. So he makes the grab and the chains move forward. Nice job by the offensive line giving them time to complete that first down pass. Play fake here on first down. Steps away. He's going to go up top for the end zone. They were trying to get it there to Josh Doxson. And now it's second down. That was a difficult catch, and I admire the fact that he actually caught the football. Worked so hard to get his feet down in bounds, tried to do the toe tap. If my dad's an accomplished tap dancer, I'm not sure he would have gotten his feet in on that one. Is he really, by yeah, the way? That, that he is. How about that? What about young Davis? No, no, it did not. It did not cross. It didn't Jennings. carry over. No, it stops right there. Cousins looking for his tight end read, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. There he goes, right side. And he's given his guys a shot for late points as they will take over in range for a field goal or maybe more. That late in the clock, second quarter, why not just run it a time or two and get it into the locker room? What you're saying makes absolutely perfect sense. Run it and get out of there. But I'm just wondering if the pressure of today's NFL and the high-powered offenses that you're facing may have forced them into saying, let's try to get some more points. And Newton's going to keep it. 
Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Hey, give him credit. That's a good, solid game there on the sneak because it all comes together. Enough space. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. Cam Newton in the final seconds of the first half. And the Panthers have got it back to a one-score game. And he's got it. That cuts the lead. It's now 14 to 10. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he will take a knee here. So per the new rules in 2016, this will be brought out to the 25-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. And they're going to go soft on the corners. And the drive starts with Rob Kelly. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So as they take it over, we step aside. So second and medium, second and five now. Final play of the half, Cousins. He's got time in the pocket. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And he will be brought down as time is now run out on this foot. And Larry apparently very brief in his report. Thanks anyway, my man, as we're already set for action. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So out now come the Redskins. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. It's a gain of 24 that time, and it'll be first down Redskins. So there on that play, offensively, they ran the crossing route. Defense was in zone coverage, so as a former DB, how tough is it to defend that? It's really difficult because your natural inclination is to chase the receiver and maybe leave your zone. So you have to have discipline in order to talk to your other coverage guys and let them know that that receiver's crossing from your zone to the next zone. He's coming your way. Make sure you have him. And then when the ball is actually thrown, secure the tackle. When they're moving on crossing routes, if you miss a tackle, it usually results in a big play. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. In trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Play fake, Cousins. Caught left side, Garcon. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Go, 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 go. 
Completed pass on second down. Now it's third down as the defense looks for the stop. Cousins on third and two. Open man, it's Vernon Davis. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will absolutely break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it. In the end zone, a big time drop. Ten yards still left on second down. They come out with one back and three tight ends. They go play action. Cousins. And he's caught right at the 10 yard line. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Jordan Reed, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Redskins find a way to stretch their lead. It's good, and it's 21 10. Here's the Redskins now as their kick unit will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. A look at the offense now here coming back out on the road for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we have. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. They brought him in off the corner gets in to drop him for a loss of four. And quickly, they get to the line. They come up in an offset eye. Newton now to throw. And both guys were there, but it falls incomplete. And when all else fails... defender when you're not there in the coverage your best friend is exactly what we saw there a big play shot taken by the offense unfortunately it ended in a big drop and the dreaded third and long here for the offense Third and long, it's Newton. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. He was trying to get it that time to Ted Ginn. And fourth down, coming up. He's got to be kicking himself right there. His team's already picked off two passes. That would have been the third in the game. And boy, they've really played well attacking the football. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Taken right around the 44. That'll go down as just a 20-yard punt. And the Redskins will have a short field here as they take over first and 10. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, you've almost got to get down into those starters blocks like you're a sprinter. Get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them right, or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. That was a really nice play to be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. And filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Play action. 
action now. Cousins. Complete to the right. This is Garcon. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. You have a guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. And Davis with it left side. And he goes out of bounds inside the 10 at the 9. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. That coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? In the red zone this time. Working out of the gun, Cousins. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for Detroit, a sack. Star Latulale. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. On play action, Cousins. His throw caught right around the six. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. And that is incomplete. So on fourth down, Cousins will head to the sideline and give way to Dustin Hopkins. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And Hopkins' kick is good. And that will get the lead up to 14. So the drive takes him inside the 10, but it ends with just three. And a nice job defensively to rise up and make sure they didn't get in. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers' offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And he takes a shot on the release, as this will be incomplete. It's a tried-and-true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball, and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Back to the air, Newton on second down. Run to the middle here to Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. We often, with Cam Newton, talk a lot about his legs. Don't forget about that arm. He can throw it on a rope. He can loft it. He's got the touch that's been developed throughout his career. But the big part about just watching him throw it, it seems almost effortless. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. On first down, it's Newton. Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. <laughs> you put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> toe bash. I don't know about <laughs> that. <laughs> Super toe. They'll run it now out of the gun. 
And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit you. Stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding the clock. Here we go. Cousins now on second down. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. Back now at FedEx Field. It's the Redskins with the football and the lead as we start the fourth. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. We got three. We got three, fellas. We got three. On third down, Cousins. And this is going to be incomplete. He was trying to find Deshaun Jackson that time. And that brings up fourth down. Here's Tressway now. As he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. Hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Carolina getting set to take the field. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> you can't bring him down. The weight room does work. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Here's Newton now on second down. And they get to Newton and take him down for the sack. That winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sack. And that'll bring up third. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Well, they went for the big play there, but that drop could really hurt their momentum. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And where will this be spotted? The side judge says it went out just across midfield. The Redskins offense now, they get set to take over here. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you called before and realize it hasn't worked so Go to so something well. else. And maybe you try and special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Second down following the run. They'll come out in the pistol. Cousins now from the 50. Blitz coming and down he goes. And now we get a timeout called on the defensive side of the ball by the Panthers. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. So it's third and long, and defensively, not a real surprise there in the dive. Third and long for Cousins. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. 
Shaq Thompson in there to get him. And that's sack number six for him on the year. Here's Ginn. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the Panthers will get it here as they take possession. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to wind up and air it out. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they've managed to get it done. The catch made over the middle by Gims. Yeah, they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. A nice job there, Charles. They picked up the blitz. We're able to complete the pass. That had the total feel. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down for a loss of seven. And they're going to speed things up here. Zach Stacy, and he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. With the struggles we're seeing up front for the offense today, they've got to think about changing up their play calling. Some screens, some draws, some quick hitting plays in order to try and supplement the run game. You don't totally abandon it, but you try and give it a little bit of help. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Third and long, it's Newton. And he gets it to punch his complete. And he takes this one all the way across midfield into enemy territory down to the 40-yard line. And now they're in the hurry up. Now a first down throw for Newton. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. It looks like a 12-yard loss there on the first down sack. Stewart is the lone setback. On second down, here's Newton. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. They were looking to get it to Kelvin Benjamin there, and it's third down. Well, the pressure, the hits, the sacks have been coming at him all game long. I'm frankly surprised that they haven't found a solution yet to create more time for him to throw it or maybe change what they do on offense. And that's one of the biggest differences in this game and why they're losing right now. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. From the gun on third down, Newton. He'll rifle. That's caught inside the 20. And that one results in 35 yards. Shift together here from the D-line. Time for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. So the offense has it first and 10. On first down, it's Newton. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. A great read, and it's picked off. And he'll be brought down at his own 10-yard line. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer. 
create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. Whenever we meet with coaches and they always talk about wanting to establish running the football, it's oftentimes with a good tight end who can control the line of scrimmage and the point of attack, and they're becoming harder to find because the colleges are giving us a whole lot of receiving tight ends, former wide receivers who can run, not necessarily block very well. In this case, though, we saw two tight ends on the field, both of them with the ability to block. And he ran the ball successfully behind that power set. And it worked his way across the 30 to the 32. Really tough drive, but that run helped salvage something there because now there's something positive that came out of it. They got to see good blocking, good push by the offensive line, wide receivers trying to get involved, a good run by the back. And now maybe it'll be a catalyst for them to look at going forward, watching it on tape. Maybe they can keep incorporating that type of a run into their offense. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. It's really no surprise to see them running the ball here. They've got the lead, not much time left. They just want to keep the clock moving, and they can win it right now. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for Washington, it's a 10th win of the year now as they move to 10 and 4. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Chicago Bears. Meanwhile, for Carolina, their playoff hopes take a hit as they drop to 7 and 7. And they'll be at home for one next week as the Atlanta Falcons come to town. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. It's a win for the Redskins as we say so long from FedEx Field. Let me take it by the young man. Matter of fact, I'ma let push.
tell that. Take it by the old man. Had to change your heart and it fell back. Old man lived a long life. Walked around with a long quick like Jesus, that Colombiana, that's me and models like. Yeah. Look at the flick of that wrist. I'm feeling like Leonardo. Let me paint the picture. I might need a bottle on the road to success. I can feel the throttle. That Michael is a low. Hunters in the envelope. Type when I write. And that old man had to change her heart. Wish a new way back from the start. Like, look around. Seen his wife on the military. All over the whole compound. Soon as he seen it, I swear it. I mean it. My man was gone quicker than Bobby knows. He, he, she, he in jail. Everyone falling like dominoes. Yeah, I've been killing this. Yeah, I've been hard in the pain. Not a single assist. Yeah, I've been flicking that fist. Yeah, I've been that, that they f with this. Yeah, I've been killing this. Yeah, I've been hard in the pain. Not a single assist. Yeah, I've been flicking that fist. Yeah, I've been that, that they f with this. Yeah, I've been, yeah, I've been killing that, killing that. Yeah, I've been flicking that, flicking that wrist. Yeah, I've been killing that, flicking that, killing that, flicking that wrist. Yeah, I've been killing that, killing that. Yeah, I've been hard in the pain. Not a single assist. Yeah, I've been flicking that wrist, flicking that, killing that, flicking that wrist. Clockwise, counterclockwise, realest in the top five. Other four ain't rap. I'm just rapping for the side. Yeah, that's coastlines, Panama for the boat rides. Worth billions, and we ain't even need showtime. Just money counters and kitchenware, condo with a in there. We got rich in there, been a trophy. 